Hello, and welcome back to partly cloudy, but I think it's going to be mostly sunny, southwest Florida. For today's adventure, we're going across the state to southeast Florida. Our principal focus is going to be Fort Lauderdale. We're going to check out the city, some of the restaurants, and most importantly, ride their water taxi system through the city. After we do that, we may go to Miami, we may go to Key West, who knows? We really don't have a plan beyond that. I believe I found a parking slot there with the J1772 Charger within walking distance of the water taxi. So off we go. Welcome back to eHermes, your electric adventure travel channel. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and hit that bell button to be notified of our upcoming content. We are starting off with 96% state of charge. Actually, we're not going to leave for about an hour. It might be 98 by the time we leave. It's really slowed down here in the last 5%, even with the home charger. We have... We are going to go out uh, onto Fort Myers, and then we'll go down 75 through Naples, across Alligator Alley, and then up to Fort Lauderdale. It says, if we left right now, it is, uh, so they say it's two and a half hours to get there, exactly, 145 miles, and I believe we'll get there with 40%. Here we go! <laughs> Well, it took a little doing, but after we downloaded the Loop EV Charger app, entered our credit card information, all that good stuff, another app for charging, yay, we got this to start charging. It's 39 cents a kilowatt hour, not bad at all. We're happy with that. And you do have to pay the parking fee still, so we'll see what that is. But we had to park anyhow, so we're gonna go ahead and leave it here, and then we're gonna go find the water tax. First, we stop for lunch at a little canal side, might actually be a river side restaurant and bar. Overlooking some of the activity, and then there's the water taxi we'll be taking after lunch. And how is your lunch? I believe you got the. What'd you get? Um, butternut squash salad, Arcula salad. With chicken? Yeah, and. I'm not sure if that's couscous or quinoa, but it's good. Good, and I got the chicken salad sandwich and fries. It's also very good. And the wine, of course, is definitely good. Here we are getting on the water taxi for the first time at stop one on the New River. An all-day ticket is $40 for an adult, and you can get on and off as many times as you want, and as you can see, they come by pretty regularly. The canals even have their own gondola, just like in Venice. You see all kinds of boats along the route, from pleasure boats, to cruise ships, to luxury yachts.
before dark, we took the opportunity to go out and see the Atlantic Ocean, walked over to the beach, saw a guy behind Mrs. E. Hermes scuba diving, and now we're gonna go have some dinner, and then we'll get back on the boat and see what it looks like at night. Looky here, looky here, another waterfront bar right off the taxi stop. Gotta love it. So this big wedding boat, the Caprice, blocked our dock, made us sit here, we missed our boat, we had to drink more. It was tragic, tragic! <laughs> Parking on the street in Fort Lauderdale costs $6 an hour. As you can see, we were parked for well over eight hours. So that would be $48 right there, probably $50 because they're going to charge you for the partial overage. Between the charging and the parking, we were just over $40. So we think we did quite well considering we got both at the same time for such a low price. After spending the night in Cape Coral Gables, I guess, I don't know. Hampton Inn, some no-name Hampton Inn, uh, nondescript. We went to Key Biscayne State Park. No, we went to Key Biscayne. I'm not sure what the name of the state park is. Bill Bragg. Bill Bragg State Park. Thank you, Mrs. E. Hermes. We tried to take a tour of the lighthouse pointed out here by Mrs. E. Hermes, but unfortunately it was closed for renovations when we were there. So we headed back across the causeway to Miami and then on further south to Biscayne National Park, Interestingly, most of which is actually underwater in Biscayne Bay. At the Visitor Center parking lot, they have two SEMA Connect manufactured. Uh, it's Blink Charging Network chargers. Got one of those going. It's about six kilowatts, six or seven. It's not going to do a ton, but every little bit helps. We've got to park anyhow. They have a very nice boardwalk out into the bay where we saw many fishes, and other interesting creatures. It is about an hour's drive from Miami, even though it is so nearby. We then decided it was time to head back home to Sanibel. We do have a slight complication. Because we're down in the southeast corner of Florida with the Everglades to the west of us and Miami to the east of us and really nothing in between, um, fast chargers are fairly scarce. They're not they're not missing, but they're fairly scarce. We're at one right now at the Outlet Mall, Florida Keys Outlet Center. We went to the Electrify America at the Walmart, but shockingly, I know, at least half of them were broken. There were people waiting. We decided to come here and try this. We're waiting for this Polestar 2 to finish. Once it does, hopefully its owner comes out and we'll be able to uh, get charging then. It was a long and painful hour to get 18 kilowatt hours. We stayed there long enough to hopefully get enough to get us home. We have 180 miles to home, 160 miles of projected range. That's based on uh, probably the highway driving I was coming doing coming east from the west coast to the east coast. Going back west, we're gonna take US Highway 41, a two lane road. So the speed should be a little bit lower. So hopefully we'll do at least that good or better and we'll get home with plenty to spare.
easily with 35 miles of range to spare, 15% of the battery. Certainly didn't need to stop at that charger for uh, a whole hour. But we had extra buffer and that made everyone more comfortable, particularly Mrs. E. Hermes. Especially coming across the Everglades where there are no other options. Our total trip was 423 miles and we averaged 2.3 miles per kilowatt hour. This trip kind of showed the best and worst of charging. When we charged in the parking garage while we were out doing other things and at Biscayne National Park, while we were just going to be parked anyhow, that was nice. The DC fast chargers and the infrastructure and the maintenance of them continues to be a problem. We hope that you enjoyed this video of a view of a little bit of the east coast of Florida, particularly the Fort Lauderdale water taxi. If you did, please hit that like button. As always, please subscribe and please hit that bell button to be notified of our upcoming content. Thank you!